Hey, I'm Paul Stachnack from Butterscotch.com and welcome to How Do I Use the Kinect for Xbox 360. Now that your Kinect is all set up, we'll walk you through the setup process on the Xbox side. If you've purchased the new Xbox Slim, the system comes preloaded with the Kinect software. However, older Xboxes will require an update, so let's go through that setup. Getting the new OS update is as simple as putting in any Kinect game into your console. If you're not running the newest version of the operating system, the moment you put the game in, uh, it's going to recognize it and begin the update process. So it's a two-step process. On the one hand, it's just going to start uh, applying the update and getting it ready. So as you can see, it's going to prompt the, uh, the new Xbox title screen. And then from that point, it's going to actually go into the uh, actual installation process for the OS itself. It can take a bit, so you know, sit down or uh, maybe get yourself a drink and uh, come back when that's actually ready to go. Once the installation is complete, you'll be taken to the setup screen, which has three easy processes that it's going to take you through. Uh, sensor placement, speech recognition, and chat, and play space. It's a fairly straightforward setup. It's going to basically ask you to do a series of things, and you're generally going to be hitting A on your controller a whole lot. For instance, if we want to continue with the setup, hit A to continue, and we're going to go to the next slide. In this case, it's going to make sure that your sensor placement is in its optimal position. We've done this in the last episode, but it's never, uh, it never hurts to check again. So two to six feet from the floor, you want to make sure that it's centered above or below your television and placed on a stable surface. So in this case, we know that we've done this. So our next step is going to be to hit A to let the setup process know that our sensor has been placed correctly. Next, it's going to take a, a sample of background noise to, uh, opti to, to be able to improve the experience for chatting and voice commands down the road. So when you press A to test background noise, it's going to listen to your room. You're going to be asked to be quiet. And once it's done, it's going to let you know if the levels are OK or not. So I'm going to hit A to uh, start the test. In this case, I'd be actually quiet rather than talking to you. But uh, as you can see, our background noise level is fine. So we're going to press A to go on to the next step. Here we're going to make sure that our speaker volume is fine. What you want to do is make sure your speaker volume is up to the level that you're generally playing a game at normally. And when you press play, it's going to uh, play a bit of audio. And uh, this is going to allow the Kinect to basically listen to where your speakers are and make adjustments for that. And uh, once you're done, hit A. We'll move on to the next slide. Microphone calibration is almost like the process before. This is going to test the microphone and uh, make sure that the Kinect can orient itself with everything that's going on in the room. Um, it's going to play a series of sound effects, uh, usually in two steps. If at any moment you want more info on this, you can hit down and press A, and it's going to give you this sort of calibration update. So as you can see, you want to make sure that your sensor is away from any uh, equipment like fans or anything loud and uh, you don't want to have your sensor in a, in a closed space. So once we hit calibrate, it's going to do a, a series of uh, volume tests. I've actually shortened this for the purpose of this tutorial. Um, mind you, if you have a multi-speaker system, you're going to hear the sound sort of traveling around the room and whatnot. Uh, once it's complete, however, you'll be taken to a similar screen where it says that it's been calibrated. Uh, here it's going to ask you if you want to use the built-in microphone for chat or not. Uh, personally, I use a headset, so I'm actually going to default to off. That said, if you don't have a headset or you just want to use the Kinect for chatting because it's more convenient, by all means, select on. I'm going to pick off, but I will show you in a future tutorial how to turn chatting back on if you wish to use the sensor. The final screen is going to uh, make sure that your play space is correct. So it's going to give you a brief uh, reminder about setting up your Kinect. Uh, in this case, it's going to ask you to stand up have the other people in the room leave, uh, place your controller on the table, and move anything away to make sure that the space is as clear as possible. A green circle will appear, and it's going to ask you to stand where it is in the space. So as you can see, I'm going to move forward. And you'll actually get a bit of feedback on the television so you know when you're in the, uh, in the right spot. And then you'll be asked to wave to activate the connect. So as you can see, it's recognized me. And now this is going to be your first sort of look at how the Kinect interface works. So it, it may seem pretty unusual, but you'll get used to it pretty fast. You use your hand in this case as a mouse cursor. And see, as I wave my hand around, the hand on the screen reacts to wherever my hand positioning is. And now if I want to make a selection, all I have to do is hover over one of these tiles. You'll see a bit of animation. And the feedback I get when I want to make a selection is this ring. And when the ring completes, I actually uh, select my option. So as you can see, I've now uh, set up the uh, Connect for the hardware. And because I started off with a game, it's actually going to launch right into my copy of Connect Adventures. Now, it's important to note that you can run through any of these setup steps via the Connect Tuner. Check out the last part of the series to see how to access that menu option. And in the next part of this series, we'll show you how to access and use the Connect Hub. For step-by-step -step instructions on anything we've discussed in this episode, check out the show notes on butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching.